Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's affectionate romance could be rubbing off on Kate and Prince William who broke from tradition today, in a rare public display of affection during a St. Patrick's Day parade. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are never seen holding hands in public, and any romance is kept under wraps and in private, in order to appear professional on royal engagements. But today Prince William broke with tradition to put a reassuring hand, on the back of his pregnant wife, who is due to give birth to their third child in April. The gesture was reminiscent of Meghan and Harry, who are often photographed showing their affection towards each other by holding hands, linking arms and hugging. The loved-up couple held hands throughout their engagement interview together, and the US actress even placed her hand on Prince Harry's knee as they joked around. During their first public appearance in Nottingham, Meghan and Harry packed on the PDA with lots of hand-holding, and back-rubbing. But Prince William is heir to the throne, and as such takes his etiquette cues from the Queen, so must be more careful about his etiquette towards his wife. His grandmother does not show affection to husband Prince Philip in public. Probably because she is aware of her role as a head of state the gravitas need for that position. This is in contrast to Prince Harry, who is fifth in line to the throne, and will soon drop to sixth when his latest nephew or niece is born, in April. That is not to say Kate and William have never kissed or held hands in public, but it depends on the occasion. They were happy to embrace at the 2012 Olympics. For example, an event similar in stature to the Invictus Games. Kate and William were in Hounslow, West London, today to attend a St. Patrick's Day parade. The pair appeared in good spirits as Kate, who shows no signs of slowing down so close to her pregnancy, presented the shamrock to officers and warrant officers. The pregnant Duchess glowed in her green Catherine Walker coat, which she first wore in Stockholm earlier this year teamed with a black faux fur collar and a green Gina Foster hat with a bow. She added a touch of glamour with a pair of her trusty Todd's pumps, and Kiki McDonough earrings, while her luscious locks were styled in a chic chignon bun. Kate also wore a Cartier shamrock brooch, which is a piece being worn by all royal women, who have presented the Irish guards with shamrock in the past.